Check this out, guys and gals. The state of Wyoming has moved forward a bill that will strengthen their permitless carry bill. But at the same time, the legislature has neutered a Second Amendment Preservation Act. Sit by and watch this episode of Guns and Gadgets if you want to learn more. Hey everybody, welcome back to Guns and Gadgets, your premier source for Second Amendment news. Today's video is sponsored by the USCCA. The U.S. Concealed Carry Association was founded to help responsibly armed Americans like you and me, and they're committed to providing life-saving self-defense resources to help you and your family be safe. When you activate your membership, you'll automatically get life-saving self-defense education, industry-leading training, plus self-defense liability insurance. Don't wait until it's too late. Click the link in the description and the pinned comment. That's uscca.com slash gng to learn more. All right, so let's go to Wyoming. This is like the, the tale of two cities in a way, and I'm interested to hear your uh, opinion on this in the comments, especially when we get to the, the neutering of one of the bills. So the first bill we're going to talk about is House Bill 116. I'll have a link down below if you want to read the bill. I'll also have a link where you can get a hold of your state senator, figure out who they are, and get a hold of them and tell them that you want them to support this bill. What this bill does is it strengthens Wyoming's permitless carry that's already on the books uh, by expanding it somewhat. See, in Wyoming, if you're not a resident of that state for at least six months, then permitless carry doesn't apply to you. And it's been that way since 2011. This new bill looks to expand that to all uh, law-abiding adults so that visitors in the state and new residents can actually enjoy their freedom and their rights as well. So HB 116, again, link down below. I'll also have a link to your state senate in Wyoming so you can figure out who your state senator is, call them, let them know you want them to pass, you want them to, to vote on this so that it does pass. And that would be a good thing. Now let's talk about the Second Amendment Preservation Act that's in the other chamber, and that was not really received so well in committee. So we're talking about Senate File 0081, and what 081 was, still is, but was a really uh, sharp-toothed Second Amendment Preservation Act, similar to the ones I've reported on here on this channel that have uh, popped up around the country. I think we have 10 or 11 states that are considering one uh, this year. And among other things, and I'll have a link to the original bill down below as well as the neutered bill. So if you wanna read them, especially if you're a resident in Wyoming, you should probably know what's going on behind closed doors. Um, but the first bill was the typical one that every state has pretty much filed. It goes through that the U.S. Constitution sets the rules and regulations for government and anything not, and any powers not expressly given to the federal government in the Constitution is reserved for the states. And it was one of those bills that said, uh, if this passes, then no state or local law enforcement or municipality can assist any federal uh, agent or agency or group in exercising or carrying out federal gun control. And as long as it wasn't already a law on the books in Wyoming. So that meant like if Wyoming doesn't, 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 long day already. If Wyoming doesn't have an assault weapon ban on the books, then the feds couldn't come in and enforce an assault weapon ban with the help of state and local. And for somebody who's been on that type of scene for a long time in law enforcement is the feds don't have enough to do anything typically unless it's a centralized effort. Uh, they always count on local and state law enforcement because they don't have the numbers. And this bill looked to have serious consequences for those in the state that assisted the feds in carrying out unconstitutional gun control in Wyoming. And it got to the Senate Judiciary Committee and there were some issues that popped up, one of which was from the Sheriff's Association. The Sheriff's Association membership said that this put uh, law, this was an attack on law enforcement because it put them in a position where they would be sued and or lose their jobs if they assisted uh, the feds. So that was a big concern for the law enforcement side, and I think that, that it is really unfounded because you should be supporting people's rights, not looking for ways to take them away. That is not the position or the job of law enforcement, but that's just my humble opinion. Now, the part of the bill, the original uh, version, I'm gonna read it from the screen so I don't screw it up. It said that no, uh, the government has no constitutional right to enact 
any federal statutes, executive orders, court orders, rules, regulations, or other actions that collect data or restrict or prohibit the manufacture, ownership, and or use of firearms, firearms, accessories, or ammunition exclusively within the borders of Wyoming. And that got the ACLU all up in a tithy because they said, wait a second, you can't tell the feds that their rules and laws don't take effect at the local level. That can't happen. In fact, the quote from Linda Burt, who is the former director of the ACLU's Wyoming chapter, said, from the inception of this country, constitutional law has been very clear in this issue. There are no states' rights to nullify federal law. The Supreme Court has repeatedly struck down these laws and will continue to. The case law is very strong as far back as 1824. The case law on shall not be infringed is pretty strong too. Well, lately, the case law sucks. But if you go back to the original documents, it's pretty clear that shall not be infringed means just what it says. But we have a lot of politicians who ignore the founding documents in order to push some other type of agenda, which has brought us to situations on why states are putting up Second Amendment Preservation Act bills. So this bill, in its original form, was sponsored by uh, State Senator Anthony Bouchard. And State Senator Bouchard is the former director of Wyoming Gun Owners. Uh, so he's coming full bore trying to protect and defend the Constitution uh, and specifically the Second Amendment. So like I said, the bill ran into some issues in committee and when it got to the floor for a full uh, state Senate vote, it ran into some more issues. An amendment was uh, it, uh, submitted and eventually accepted by a vote that basically structurally changed the bill as was its original intent and put a lot of the onus on the state attorney general and how a group of 25 uh, residents or a group representing 25 residents could file a petition saying that this act is unconstitutional, then the attorney general look into it, blah, 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 blah. Great if you have a pro-gun attorney general who's willing to act that fast to stop this unconstitutional stuff, but if you don't, the bill didn't have the same bite, the same effect that it was intended to have. So. It was changed structurally, excuse the dog. Shut up! So like I said, it was changed structurally so much that Bouchard, the author, the sponsor of the bill, didn't even vote for it on the floor for a full vote. That's how much it had changed and how much he was pissed off about it. So you have Wyoming, a tale of two sides of the coin, basically. You have them pushing to increase the abilities of people to carry without a permit over in the House and in the Senate they kind of chipped away at a bill's original intent and its original bite to make it a little more palatable, I guess, from what they're saying. Uh, but what do you think? Uh, again, I'll have a link to the state senate and the house so you can figure out who your, rep, where your legislators are. You can contact them. I'll have uh, a link to House Bill 116. You want that to pass? I'll have a link to the original and the new versions of Senate File 81. Take a peek at it, especially if you're a resident. Let me know what you think. And uh, it's interesting. Just uh, curious. Curious. All right, guys and gals, that's what's going on in Wyoming. I am uh, going right back to the grindstone. I hope that you uh, enjoy the news, and I value your time. So thank you very much. Until we see each other again, be safe, stay vigilant, carry a weapon. I will see you on the next one. Take it easy.